come in, Ray. Hickman, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. It's right here, Ray. He's looking at me. He's an ugly little spot, isn't he? I think he can hear you, Ray. Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! 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 Ugh, ugh, he slimed me. I feel so funky. Let's get this video started. All right, and here is my new friend, Slimer, by Natty15D, which is a remix of the original file created by Mustang Dave. What he had done is actually take the full Slimer body and just sliced the bottom portion off and then took the hands that were part of that particular file and again, sliced those off. And now you can hang these and position them on your walls to make it look like Slimer is actually coming through the walls. I think this is a brilliant idea. I originally saw that he posted this over on the Facebook 3 Printing Props group and was, I mean, I was just blown away how great this looked. It looked like he was putting this in his workshop or in his garage or somewhere like that. And I figured I need to do the exact same thing for my space that I'm creating down here. This is just absolutely perfect. I printed this in the Zealtec Neon Green PLA, and I believe it took about 40 hours, 30, 30 to 40 hours to actually print all of the pieces, which was not bad. And I actually used Simplify 3D's V4, their new variable layer height. Uh, function as part of this print that helped actually reduce, I think it was about eight hours it cut out of my print time because I was able to go from 2% infill all the way up to about the first section here where I needed to uh, beef up the infill to about 10% and then I was able to reduce it again back down to 2% up until about the mouth area and then the rest I left at a 10% infill. And again, that just helped cut down on the amount of PLA and the print times that it was gonna take to actually print this versus printing the whole thing at 10% infill. Uh, one thing that has happened, I, I did have a few issues with this when it was printing. I'm not 100% sure why on the actual Slimer print it did this, but on the top, the layer lines look really jagged and kind of jacked up. And if you look at the front of the face, it looks like when it was printing, for whatever reason how it sliced, it squished everything in the forehead region down. So his eyes are really mushed in, his nose, which should be much more rounded, is squished down. And I think that's what's caused this layer line issue along the top. I mean, it's very, very odd. I've never really seen that before. I'm not about to reprint this because it took so long and it took a, a good amount of filament. And I think it still looks great as it is and it still look really cool. Everybody immediately knows, is gonna know that this is Slimer bursting out of the wall. I mean, my six year old knew immediately when he saw it, when I had it up on the wall. The other issue that I had was when I was printing the hands. And again, this was just how I printed it. It was nothing wrong with the files. Um, the supports ended up failing on the hands on some of the fingers. So some of the fingers I need to clean up here a little bit. Again, I'm not really concerned by that since it's gonna be glued up or hanging from the, not, probably not glued on my wall, but tacked up somehow on my wall and no one's really gonna notice that the fingers are a little screwed up. I'm not even really gonna be bothering sanding or doing any post-process finishing on this other than I just removed the supports. Should also mention that I printed this at 0.3 millimeter layer height. I normally print at 0.2. Again, I was looking to help reduce the overall amount of filament that I was gonna need as well as the print time that it was gonna take to actually print this. And I think it just came out just fine. I see no issues with this. If it was a replica prop that I was gonna be painting and sanding and all that other crazy stuff, then maybe I would have chosen to go a little bit lower in the layer heights settings, but for this and this beautiful green PLA that I'm just gonna hang on the wall, I think it came out perfect. And as someone that was a kid in the 80s that grew up watching Ghostbusters, this was 
an absolute blast to print and I can't wait to have this hanging permanently on the wall. So if you're interested in printing your own Slimer replica prop here that appears mystically from a wall, no slime included, I've got links down below to Thingiverse where you can get these exact files that I used here. And I should mention that I scaled these up to 150% and printed them over on my CR10S4. All right, you guys, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think of the Slimer print. I absolutely love this print. It's not my typical replica prop by any means, but it is a cool replica from a much loved 80s movie from my childhood. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave me some comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye now. When there's something strange in Jesse's basement. Yeah, that's where I film all my videos. I got no shame singing the stupid songs for you guys. That's what I do and make them up on the fly. That's, I, I've got no rhythm, by the way. God, this thing's awesome.